This is the most advanced material manufacturing process in the world. It involves many complex stages and is essential for ensuring safety and optimal performance while driving. Today, large factories equipped with skilled workers are successfully manufacturing the world's most advanced materials, capable of producing more than 250 million materials annually. So what is the manufacturing process? Let's take a look at how technologically advanced and modern materials are made and the steps and processes required to make them road ready. At the first stage in the material manufacturing process, it starts with the collection of raw materials. One of the main materials used is rubber, either derived from the sap of the rubber tree or synthetically produced through a chemical process using petroleum and other ingredients. Besides rubber, other important components include carbon black, oil, sulfur, and various other chemicals that have roles as reinforcements and fillers. Carbon black, for example, serves to increase the strength and wear resistance of tires, while sulfur is used in the vulcanization process to give rubber its elasticity. Once the raw materials are collected, the next stage is mixing. This process is carried out using a giant mixing machine called a Banbury mixer. Raw materials such as rubber, carbon black, oil, and other chemicals are put into the Banbury mixer. This mixing process is very important as it will determine the quality of the rubber compound produced. During mixing, the temperature and pressure inside the machine must be strictly controlled to ensure all materials are well mixed and evenly distributed. After the mixing process, the next step is the forming of the rubber compound. The rubber compound produced from the Banbury mixer is then ground into thin sheets using a grinding machine. These sheets will be used as the base material to make various tire components, such as the tread, sidewall, and inner liner. At this stage, the rubber compound sheets are formed into different tire components. This process involves several steps, including extrusion, The rubber compound sheets are extruded into more specific shapes according to the desired tire components such as tire treads and sidewalls. Application of cord fabric. Cord fabric, usually made of nylon or polyester, is used as the backbone of the tire to provide strength and stability. This cord fabric is coated with rubber compound and then rolled into layers. Once all the components are ready, the next stage is the fabrication of the tire frame. This process is carried out using sophisticated tire making machines. These machines assemble tire components such as the inner liner, cord liner, tread and sidewall into a single unit. During this process, all components are arranged with high precision to ensure that the tire has a strong and balanced structure. The layers of rubber compound and cord fabric are placed in stages and combined using pressure and heat. After the tire frame is formed, the next step is the vulcanization process. Vulcanization is the process of heating the tire in a special mold at high temperature and pressure. This process allows chemical bonding between rubber molecules to occur, giving the tire optimal strength, elasticity, and durability. Vulcanization usually lasts for 12 to 15 minutes depending on the type and size of the tire. The mold used in this process also has the desired tread pattern so the tire tread is formed during the vulcanization process. After vulcanization, the resulting tires then go through a rigorous quality inspection and testing stage. The tires are visually inspected to detect defects such as air bubbles, cracks, or other imperfections. In addition, the tires are also tested using various tools to ensure strength, durability, 
balance, and overall performance. Some of the tests performed include X-ray tests to detect any internal defects or imperfections in the tire structure, balance test to ensure that the tire rotates in a balanced manner and does not cause vibration during use, durability test to measure the tire's resistance to high load and pressure. After passing the inspection and quality testing, the tires enter the finishing stage. At this stage, excess rubber that may have adhered during the vulcanization process is cut off, and the tire surface is cleaned. The tires are then labeled with important information such as size, type, and other specifications. Tires that have finished production and gone through all the testing stages are then ready for distribution. The tires are packaged and shipped to various distributors, retailers, or directly to automotive manufacturers who will mount the tires on vehicles. The tire manufacturing process involves various complex stages and requires attention to detail and strict quality control. From the collection of raw materials to the distribution of the final product, each step in the process plays an important role in producing safe, durable, and high-performance tires. With technology constantly evolving, the tire manufacturing industry is constantly innovating to improve product quality and performance to meet market needs. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss our latest videos.